I've been going to the same barber since 2008, so like. Damn. You're loyalty. Loyal, loyal. 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 You are loyal. He's been, he's been through we everything. We love that, yes. We, we love a loyal, loyal man. man. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What is going on and welcome to the Urban Pitch Podcast, the beautiful game of life, part of the Believe Network. The Watch the Crew is back in the house Super again. Watched. I'm your host, Ramsey Abu Shala, editor of UrbanPitch.com. As always, I'm joined by the one and only Julio Materosa. Julio, what's going on, baby? Just out here, director of Vibras all over again. Director of Vibes, Mr. First to One. He's a man of many titles, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's, that's why we love him. He's, he's, he's just a jack of all trades. I'm out here. He's out. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, we got some special guests in the building today, the, uh, the, uh, why don't you share with the, the people at home who, who we got in the house? We got two special guests. I consider my friends Jenny and Jessica Flores. Hey. Hi. <laughs> they said, uh, we, they said like, we, were, we were too ugly the first episode, so we had to bring some yeah, beautiful people you know, into the podcast. It bounces so we, out. It yeah, bounces we, li- we listen. Like, I like yeah. it. I love that for us. <laughs> Thanks for having us, guys. Yeah, it's, thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show and, and taking the time. Of course. I've heard it was always a good vibe. I've seen some of your episodes and we're like, when can we join y'all? So. Yeah, you know, I mean, we had to put you in the in the role of that. <laughs> I know, so, right? I mean, you you, know, you so. had to like fit us in. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we pushed some people back. You know, don't, don't, don't give me No, wrong. no, it's so, like, yeah, yeah, like, all right. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank but, you. Yeah. It was Ramsey's fault. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Ramsey's uh, in charge of the calendar. Yeah, because if it was you, <laughs> we'd be all over the place, man. Come on. Yeah. Come on now. All right, but before we get started, why don't you guys uh, uh, give just a quick uh, intro and background on who, who, who you are, where you come from. That way, you know, the people listening can, can have a better idea. Yeah, Jenny, you go first, girl. Hi, I'm Jenny, and I am a sports enthusiast. I love sports. You'll catch me at every LAFC game, Dodgers, sometimes, well, the Lakers season's already over. Kings, <laughs> Kings, I'm I'm all over the place. Um, but Angel yeah. City FC as well. Angel yes, City. Angel Shout City Angel FC. City. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and yeah, I love sports. I grew up watching sports. Um, when I was little, I would watch sports. I would go to like games in Mexico. I know a lot of people that play soccer. I would say soccer is like my top sport, though. It's like my favorite sport. Like that. But yeah, from LA as well. I work in like the music and media radio space here. Give my eyes real quick. Let me, let me roll them real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Uh, she's go yes. she's famous. <laughs> um, but I do, um, I love sports. I played soccer in college, outside back. So soccer is definitely my favorite sport to watch. I was outside back too. I was a right back in college as well. Yeah, but she was D1 though. So. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. USC. No, you but know. Aaron, Look, yeah. I did watch some videos of you playing that you're posting on your Instagram. You are good. Like, you're like I'm a little not, trickster. No, He's not. a little trickster, so and I can see why that'd be tri- tricky to defend, but I would still you. kick don't his ass. Look, Let's be no, honest. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, you will not. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you say this, man. Let's stop the strike. Let's not get my competitive juices going because I can't. I, no. I don't respond. Okay, then okay what are you, a forward? No, I'm a right back. I was a right back in college. Okay. But, like, when it comes to, like, people that just, like, play for fun, I'm a forward. Okay. So people that I, I do my thing a little bit, but I no, you definitely do your no, thing. I, I just ha- I haven't played like that in a very long so time, please, so I'd be scared to so go. So please don't talk mess because I, I would. <laughs> no, I'm still kicking ass. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. Our partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking to win the World Series? Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started, so head over to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B-L-E-A-V, receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. Look, so, so, so talk about your college um, Career, experience because yeah. I know USC, obviously, you know. One of the top, like, leading lady programs. Um, yeah, I, talk about that because I know, I know UCLA is obviously, you know, yeah, one of, re- there, really, yeah. really top. Um, I know some of the big West schools are, are, are pretty good too. But p- talk about USC because I know USC has some pros in um in the league you know, now it, yeah, yeah like wherever and some that play with you as well one, uh, one in Houston and I guess one in San Diego as well yeah, yeah. I, a lot of my old teammates now even from when we were growing up because growing up I was 
we were playing on teams that we'd compete across the country. We were like going to serve cup and nationals and regionals. And like, we were bred at a young age. Like the goal is to get recruited. That was, you know, my entire life. And then the process of getting recruited to USC is kind of similar to any other athlete. You're emailing the coaches, you're telling them, here's my number, here's my position. This is the tournament I'm going to be at. These are my games, the field. And then you hope that, yeah. And then, yeah, if you can maybe do a highlight tape. So I only played there one year, but it was so competitive. It was like the hardest thing ever because you're coming in as a freshman, you're smaller, right. no experience. You're competing against playing time against the seniors, you know, junior, yeah. sophomore, right. and you know, and then we came in with 20 girls, like recruits, 20 Jesus. girls. It's like, Deep just as like, or I don't know, it was like something ridiculous, like 16 girls out, we came in. Um, but they did end up, I think my senior year or the year after my year, they ended up winning the national title. Oh, so it was wow. like a lot wow. of the girls that got recruited with in me, they class. were killer. Like they were super, super good. Yeah, I mean, at the, at the D1 level, it's pretty cutthroat because you have people fighting for scholarships. There's money at stake. Yeah. Um, I played I played D3 baseball. He played NAIA and JUCO That's soccer. That's freaking dope. So, yeah. I mean, like the, at, that, at that level, it's still very competitive. But I feel like at the Division One level, when you have that money, and you know a lot more high stakes involved it starts to get very very it's very much a business and you have to kind of hustle to 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 get in for for the first for the first part and then to stay there yeah and people think like oh the hardest thing is actually getting recruited and yes it's hard to kind of like you know be that person where a coach is going to write your name down and actively be like hey come play for Mm -hmm. my school but it's even harder when okay you go from playing club or high school which is like nothing and then all of a sudden you're against like the best of the best in the country right. that's on your team that's against every team that you play it's like never an easy workout ever <laughs> it no, was honestly, so like, hard when I went in I was like I was like I was a shit I'm like, I thought I was right? a shit you I think thought, you're the right. shit yeah, yeah. because no because you are you are it yeah. humbles you everybody, definitely everybody else you go and, too. and you compete like alright so like my juco like so outside of California you can, you can get a full scholarship to like to play uh, community college so I played in Arizona Western which is uh I think we were ranked like three it's the USC years. of JCs in Arizona. Sure to God. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Cool. So we like my year was, was the first year we won a we won a state title. So I went in thinking like, ah oh, shit, this is easy. It's not gonna nothing's gonna matter. Like I'm gonna start right away. And then I see the talent. I'm like, wait a minute. Like yeah. <laughs> people play this good. Wait a minute. Like, yeah. Like, like up pre- on the field. Preseason. Yeah. Like uh, we're going cleats up against each other. We all teammates. Oh I'm like, God. what is going on? Relax, guys. And we all turned it up. But like that team like showed me like what a winning team looks like we were competitive in practice uh in the dorms like <laughs> we're playing we play fifa and like we almost get, get in fights like people got to stop us from fighting each other so like it's hard from going from like you thinking you're the man the yeah. woman yeah i'm the man yeah you're like walking and, up there and and you're to, like, to go into campus and you're seeing somebody like this guy is different like yes and so it's it's scary at first to see like you adjust but it is scary and it's like even though like soccer is very much a team sport when you're playing it in college it's it is a team sport but you're also like fighting for your life every practice every game because you don't want to be on the bench like you want to get playing time so although these are your girls and you know they need to have your back on the field like whenever you're off the field and you're really like fighting to get like you know even a little bit of of time on the field like yeah you're fighting for your life especially the seniors that are there that you don't want somebody younger coming in and taking like their playing time and stuff so it was very aggressive. <laughs> Super <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got kicked out of practice a few times, so it was, it, it was bad. Jeez. Yeah, but I mean, that's it's not because the game's aggressive. It's because you're just yeah, yeah. You're, you're aggressive. Or what? Yeah. Uh, this guy played against me. Yeah, I mean, he's a hot head, huh? He's a yeah. sweetheart off the pitch, but on the pitch, you know what I mean? Like he's just a different person. Yeah, he's a like monster. That? I've seen him. I've seen know. him at the ba- at really? the base play. Yeah, I don't know that guy. throwing elbows. Yeah. I don't know that guy. Okay, so you play dirty. No. I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't get... let hey, don't let the don't let the fresh taper fool you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dirty. This is Julio <laughs> slander right now. <laughs> it's, it's not true. Like, all right, so like, what happens is, um, I just respond easily. So when people like hit me, like. He gets triggered. I've seen it. Yeah, he's easy to get in, in his. Yeah, no, yeah. I, no. So wait, do you like hold other teammates accountable? No, You're like, no, 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 no. So like, uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, 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 you do, yell. He yells. He yells. Yeah, yeah. Just like, give me the ball and get you out the way. You can hear no, but, uh, him from a mile away. Yeah. No, but the thing is, like, yeah. I'm the I'm the enforcer. Like, I have a lot of good team. Like, my my team was had a lot of good players around me. Um, and like once they get hit, like they don't respond. So I feel like I gotta respond for them. Okay. So next play, I'm going in a little hard, probably something up but whatever uh. it's, 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 it's part of the game okay so have you ever gotten a direct red the base one time <laughs> at the base but like in college yeah. or like in high school 
Yeah, I was leading my 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 team in, in cards. <laughs> Okay. But but that doesn't define me as a man. <laughs> hey, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Based off of the amount of red cards I've no, got. I, I, I just feel like the ref was soft. He just didn't uh, let us play. He didn't let us play. That makes nah, sense. Well, there, there was one time in college where like I went in a minute. Because right, if you get a card in college, you got to sub out. Yeah. So I went in like two minutes. Uh, and then I got a yellow card, so I had to get subbed out. Coach was so mad at me. but. I mean, yeah. I got a direct red once in high school, too. What you do? It, okay, honestly, I would never mean to actually do this, but it, the girls behind me, they were throwing it in and like we're facing them, so we're like fighting for the ball. <laughs> and I go like, I jump up to flick it behind me, you know, like when you yeah, flick it. Yeah. So then I go like this, and my elbows go like this to the girl behind me, and it like Be careful, cuts Jenny. her open. Sorry. <laughs> I, like, I know. I was like, I'm like, so I go like this. Like, let me just show you all exactly what it is. No, so I go like this, like super hard on her eye, and she's just like bleeding from her eye. And obviously, I felt super horrible. And I remember because. You said sorry? No, that's huh? a lo- that's a I, I did say sorry. I got a direct. You can't say sorry. You should have like, oh, well, yeah, because you gotta walk out like you did it. Scar on you know her face, you know, f- for either like the rest of her life or like I don't know. It was like it's really cute. Bad. It's like a, it's a battle wound. People yeah. are gonna. Ask, it's yeah. a good it's conversation. A conversation. Wants this girl. Freaking a little, a little <laughs> mascara. No, that's that's a little mascara. That's a good move though. Foundation. That's that's a good move. The jump, the jump, the jump because it's like inadvertent. It's inadvertent. Yeah, I'm not like let me knock this girl out. I was like, no, let me get some to and like like if you wanted to. One more time, one more time, huh? Yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, so then we ended up playing them, like, at their home field. And I guess, like, everybody in the crowd knew, and they were just, like, mm. screaming, revenge, revenge, because she They're was marking revenge? me. No, scre- like, the crowd was screaming yeah. revenge when it was, like, at their home field. And I was just like, oh, my God. And, and mind you. I would have doubled down and got another red card. <laughs> mind you, sh- we're both coming from private schools. We're Catholic school girls. Yeah. So, well, so, what so it was probably a big deal. I want to know what high school it was. It was, I think, LaSalle. Oh, it might have yes. been LaSalle. Well, what high school did you go to? Bishop Montgomery in Torrance. Mm, yeah, I didn't. I didn't go there. Yeah. What school did you go to? I went to Cantwell in Montebello. Oh. So. Go Cardinals! <laughs> Wait, what sports did you? I know you played something in high school, didn't you? I did track. Okay. She's a, um, I She's was, a runner. She I was. Star. I was the hy- <laughs> hydration manager for the football team. Wow. <laughs> See, water. Water's important. Yeah. Cheers for that. Cheers to water. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers to water. Hydration. Cheers, 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 Cheers to water. Yes, yes. Cheers. You're like, bye. So, so you were on a club team because that's the only other way you could have been recruited, right? No, or, so I got... Sunday league. Sunday, no. Nah. So what happened was uh, Jose, my youngest brother, his team was number one rated in the nation. So uh, this was like, I, I got recruited a year and a half after high school. So one, one random year, like I was just, I, I wanted an, I was not even thinking of going to college. So um, oh one wow. random year, I went to go practice with my brother's team. Number one uh, team rated in the nation is Real SoCal. Shout out oh Rose my Sim. God, Shout I out hated Rose. Real SoCal Shout because they were so, so good. We would play them for years and years. We were like rivals. We'd catch them at Surf Cup, like all of them. Like the Blues, United, yeah. Mustang from up north, like all those teams. Oh my God. But I, I play <gasps> I play club in, uh, in, in uh, Cooper City, PCSC, Pacific Coast Soccer Club. We were oh. not that good. Uh, but uh, so yeah, whatever. My brother, my brother's uh, club team, I go practice with them. Uh, one of the guys from Arizona comes and he's like, who's that guy? Like. He can play a little bit, like bring him for a tryout, and that was me. So uh, I was I was working in the LAX, putting like the bags inside the airplanes. Were you in high school still? No, I was already out of high school. It was like a year removed from high school. So that I come try out, I'm like whatever, I got nothing to lose. Like so I go, and and then the same day where I, we had a little tryout, they they present a paper like, all right, you got a full ride scholarship if you want to play. Oh, I like, oh wow. my god! Signed, signed That's kind of like. Yeah. I mean, I've flex. never heard a story like that before. Yeah. It's always like you go to the system. <laughs> I yeah. know what. And you did all four years. You ended up. No, I did two years there, and then I did one year at HIU. You went which, to Hope. Hope International, yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. But uh, it, That's it, a cool story. It didn't. Work, it didn't work well at HIU. It was a Christian school, and my oh, my values did oh. not align. With them. <laughs> He's like, listen. <laughs> Going to downtown Fullerton and then going back to class, it, 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 it was not a good fit. Sounds, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. It's I mean, literally right there in Fullerton, right? Yeah. Yeah. 11 minutes away. As much, I mean, as much That's as, dangerous. you know, I'd, like, I'd love to continue to go down memory lane in high school. You know, we got we got, we got, we got a show to <laughs> Okay. Play, play. So, uh, I mean, that, let, those are great stories. Let, me, know, let me be but, Beyonce, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, but, I mean, so you mentioned 
uh, uh, one year at USC, yeah. and then you, you you shifted to kind of more career stuff and, and getting into media. So, yeah. what was that like, um, and how did that kind of set you up for uh, where 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 you are at currently? Okay, well, I remember it because I was again, I would be like at practice or I'd be like at training, and I'd just be like dying on the right. field because it's, 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 it's hard. It's a full time job it's what, a, paired with another full time job. Mm-hmm. Like being literally, a right. being at literally. school, it'd be like it like your schedule would be like alarm go off five like right. five five thirty get to the field at six if you weren't fast enough or you didn't pass the fitness test then you're going to be in the shit group which is super high intensity training and you'd have to be there before everybody else and he's going to run you to the ground till you were like throwing up like <laughs> like literally about to faint and then the then the rest of the team comes um and then you like train with everybody and it was just so intense that i just didn't feel like my heart was in it anymore mm-hmm. and usc is a, a great school in the sense that it has so many different opportunities and i'm like dang i really want to take advantage of this so i like try to convince my dad like please let me you know leave soccer because i want to take advantage of everything else happening at this college he's like no tú no más quieres ir de party. you know how they are he's yeah. like you're gonna lose your discipline i'm like he no i'm right. serious <laughs> <laughs> You know what's so funny? I party now way harder than I ever did in college, which is fun. In college, I was very like, all I did was pretty much work. But yeah, I remember the first day I woke up as as not an athlete anymore. My roommate was going to practice. This was second semester of freshman year. She was going to practice. Everybody was going to like games and stuff. And I'd just be left in the dorm room like, oh my God, like your identity has gone. You don't, you, right. you like don't even know who you are anymore. So then I took my, um, I took myself to the gym at USC, but not the athletic gym. Cause I no longer had no. access to that. Uh, so then I started crying <laughs> even more and I'm like, damn, I'm really working out with like all the normal. The NARPs. The, the NARPs. normal. There you go. The NARPs. Nobody. You know yeah. that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I play college yeah. sports. Oh, oh my God. I, am I guess I'm a NARPs, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the NARPs. Wait, isn't that, that a better fitting than wearing your soccer gear or like your yeah. baseball gear oh, to yeah. first day of class? You're like, Hi. Yeah. yeah. What's up? I got I got my backpack on. I got my yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I, I'm just like so, right here, like uh, guys. I'm a narc. Or they would yeah. call them the mug, like muggles. muggles. Like, they'd be like, dang, you're really a muggle now, and I'm like, damn. Yeah. So 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 narp is non-athletic regular, regular person. person, and that's so as us like we're elitist. At, you know what I mean? Like you seen those TikToks? It's like, am I better than everyone? You know what hey, I mean? like, hey, hey, counselor, do you got my classes ready for right, me? Right. Exactly. So, so that's the but term. they got some they got some players, man. Like uh, they have a rookie. Um, on uh, on Louisville right now, can't think of her name. She's like a first round pick, but she's she's balling out at USC right now. She, no, she was at USC last year, and she's a first round pick, and she's playing in Louisville. Uh, oh Louisville my god! Now. Yeah, yeah, she's balling. Out. I forget her name, but Dang. I know uh, Elizabeth Eddy. She's she's been in the league. She was my teammate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, she's Houston, Houston right now. She was there. She right? was a junior when I was a freshman. She, she's played everywhere. She yeah. was one of those players, like Elizabeth Eddy. Oh my! Not only the most positive, just. I don't know how to explain it, but she decided she wanted to learn lacrosse. She joined the USC lacrosse team, which was like what? just as good. Like, I think, I, if I remember correctly, but she was so fast, so supportive. Like, she was always like, so, like as a freshman, she didn't have to be nice to me. She was so nice to me. Like, shout out Elizabeth Eddy, man. Elizabeth if anything, Eddie. one of yes. my favorite players on that team. What, what about Katie Johnson? She played for San Diego as well. Katie Johnson. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was my year. So yeah, we got recruited together. Yeah. Yes. Shout I made a little bit of research. You see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Like, He's yeah. all the players, nah. yeah. So shout out Kay Jo. She got, uh, she's from La Cunada. Um, she was, came in freshman year with me, but she was like next level also. I think mm-hmm. she might have started freshman year, which was so big damn near time. impossible yeah, to time, do. Time, time stuff. Yeah, I remember I'd go against her and I'm like, girl, like you're just next level. <laughs> she played like. for the Mexican national team too. She did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yes, did. she did. And yeah. a girl named Tanya, also my um, freshman year, played for the Mexican national team. She got kicked off the USC team because she, went, she went to the World Kentucky Cup. Kentucky mm. or... I'm not sure where That's she's crazy. at. Tanya, she she came out to play with at, at Chino's uh, Chino's uh, pickup game as well. No way. Yeah, she was playing for Pachuca, I believe, or yes. Monterrey. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, and she was badass because she ended up going to the World Cup our freshman year. She got the golden boot, oh, wow. which means I think she scored. scored I don't know I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> Imagine I'm not, but from what I remember, she couldn't play at USC anymore because the coach was like, either USC or the World Cup. She's like, That's I'm bad. going to the World Cup. <laughs> Come on. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, I love USC, but this is the World Cup. We're yeah, about. yeah. yeah. I, I loved her too. Great, great girl. Previous episodes, I said it already. I'll give an auntie up for like a World Cup chance. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. you're a psycho. That's <laughs> I got about onto your two that. <laughs> <laughs> you, give her, yeah. you give her up for a plate of uh, for like a plate of food. 
No, not that. That's, that's, that's messed up. You probably <laughs> depends on the sushi or not. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> All right, so let's talk about what you what you guys are up to now. Because yeah. I mean, obviously, the, the past is is, is great. It's, it's fun, good, yes. but um, almost cried a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go reminisce. Oh, now memory lane. Like, you know, nostalgia. <laughs> get a little nostalgia on. But uh, uh, what are y'all up to, to to nowadays? Well, we got some exciting news. Yes. We're actually working on a podcast. a podcast. Yeah, you guys have to come uh, on. Podcast well, together. I mean, we'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll get on. Yeah, we could do yeah. like a do a do episode yes oh, yeah. Yeah, little crossover meets. little crossover you gotta talk to my agent <laughs> who's your agent <laughs> I was like is it oh I was like oh, is it, it? Right. alright well so. I get 10% which is zero yeah. <laughs> whatever I mean yeah yes. so what, what is the podcast gonna be about it's gonna be about everything it's there's so many topics but it's it's based on the I mean um, Wendy our friend Wendy so she has this nonprofit, mm. um, Street Vendors United. So it started off with that, and we're just gonna talk about everything. I am gonna be an ongoing co-host. Yeah. So I'll be in and out. Um, but their Wendy will be there, and our other friend Ophelia and Jessica will will be part of yes. that. Yes. So it's cool. Are, yeah, it's cool because like obviously there's so many street vendors that get attacked around Los Angeles yeah, and man, there's, a there's a lot of like yeah, yeah discrimination and hatred and violence towards them. So I guess a big point of it is to have a podcast where we could talk about everything like sports, relationships, like anything, career stuff, but also whatever proceeds we get, a portion of that goes towards the community. Yeah. Like we want to raise oh, money sure. for individual people that, you know, really, really, really need it. You know, that so that's pretty much like the whole basis of it is to kind of join that platform with I guess that's helping dope. LA. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> We've already started filming, so yes. Yeah, because I'll tell you, yeah. like, I've seen those posts, man, where they're like tipping over the yeah. nice, the cart and the dude is just like getting emotional i mean this is heartbreaking to see like, yeah and that's what i was seeing like the flip side when we see like the people just giving money to the street vendors which is great these people are hard-working people they're just uh, trying to make yes, a living yes yes definitely and then so, like i mean they go every day and they hustle and Set up. it's mad respect that it's, it's just amazing what these people do and it's just unfortunate that there's like discrimination going on but yeah people make a living off of this and yeah, they're just trying to support their family and get by. Yeah, and I'm wondering, like, how angry do you have to be at your own life to really go and harass yes. these people? Like, don't you have better things to freaking do with your time? Like, are you bored? Like, let these people live. And, like, honestly, if I ever... I've never been in, a, like, an actual fight in my entire life. Let me see your pose. <laughs> see your fight pose. <laughs> my fight pose? Oh, no, you don't see that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I, I want to see this too. <laughs> no, and, you know, people have tried me, like more specifically, girls at like bars. You know, when they're drunk and stuff. You mm -hmm. know how kids out here. Mm -hmm. But I've never been in a fight. I'm but like, if I <laughs> ever I caught it. someone harassing like a street vendor, she's here for I'm throwing hands. <laughs> like I don't care if I got nails on. Hey, I'm gonna take off. My, I will fight you very quickly. <laughs> yes, definitely. But shout out to Wendy. Yeah, violenta. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I'll probably fight you with my words first, and then if it gets to that point, then I'm gonna be like, hey, back up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all nicely. That's so up. taking off your shoe. <laughs> Throw my shoe at them. So when, when are you looking to go live with the, with, with, with the podcast? Hopefully soon. I mean, just, yeah. I don't know if you guys are doing this, but we're doing ours by seasons. So we want to do like a season right. of eight episodes, take right. a break, regroup, mm -hmm. and then do like another eight. So right now we've already done two. We have, um, well, what, six more? And then, yeah, yeah. you're going to be a part of those, which is going to be dope. We have a lot of cool guests I showing know. up. Maybe you guys will pop. Well, we haven't even gotten an invite. Yeah, so but honestly, we're there. We're this there. is this your is like, invite. This is like months in advance. Don't worry. So we're going to push a couple people behind right, and fit you into the Yeah, There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're super excited, so everybody stay tuned. What else are you up to, though? I know you're yeah, busy. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, am... Yeah, Jenny, Jenny, let the people know. I am actually a therapist for kids with disabilities, so that's... That. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. So, Very nice. Very clean. Yeah, so that's my 9 to 5, and then after that, I just, like, I help everybody like all my friends that are in social media. I can help them create their content. Um, 
And then we have this podcast going on, but it's busy. I'm booked She's and busy. busy. She's a yes. busy. I thought she doesn't yes. reply, guys. I'm just. <laughs> right I thought she doesn't reply. Like, yes, don't get mad. Reply. Don't get mad. <laughs> See, I. You know what? I sometimes I don't reply. So like. She saw it though. <laughs> you know what? Like I'll see it on my watch, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like I'll mentally reply. I'm telling you. Yeah, and then I'm my mentally biggest mentally issue. I, I do always mentally reply. You know, all I the guys are probably like, ugh. They're like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but Not booked and busy. Guys without an S. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I was like, no. no. <laughs> but yeah, booked yeah. and busy over here. How about, yeah. how, about you, how about you, Jessica? How about, what are you up to outside the podcast? Right. Uh, I mean, the podcast being one of them, I'm working towards getting my real estate license just for kind of like fun to mm. have it. I have a, have a big passion for real estate for whatever reason. I'm working on like this van project. I'm kind of building out like this van, like this tiny home on wheels, which has been the most difficult thing in the world. Like it is so frustrating, but we're going to do it. Hopefully travel the country once it's built. Oh, it's gonna, I see, she's going to take videos. me. You're like getting on there straight on cut carpentry. <laughs> yes. she, she, I know. She, I got like the worker here. boots yeah. and everything. Who yeah. do I think I involved the builder? Home, home Depot. Home Depot. Like, yes, home Depot like, mode literally. Oh, I just told her her van right now. I was like, Dude, this smells like Home Depot. Like, <laughs> I love it. It smells like wood and it like, like paint. Smells like construction right there. Yeah. Yes. So building a tiny home on wheels has been taking like a big portion of my time. Also, stuff that's like super un like announced or anything like that. Potentially, maybe get back into the radio world in mm -hmm. LA. Maybe mm -hmm. not. We'll see. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm working with like a lot of dope brands like online and kind of creating content for them. I recently did like this thing with. Who, it was like meta and NFL and stuff oh, like that, which yeah. has been fun. So it's cool because right now a lot of the stuff that I do is freelance. Like I'll right. either like MC a nightclub or stuff like that, which is cool. It it literally lets me kind of make my own schedule. But I do miss having like that solid like nine mm -hmm. to five or like yeah. that solid right. radio show where you're getting yeah. like, like it's that. all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, so how, how was having the radio show though? Like the, uh, you you had it. I I I seen you brought some of our friends. Uh, FIFA there so like how was having that radio show it was cool like I, so I guess for anybody that doesn't know it was um, 7 to midnight here in LA a radio station called Cali 93 so 93.9 and it was the most fun it was fun. Fun. No, right. yeah it was the most <laughs> but, but did you see her, did you hear her her radio voice right yeah she did oh, yeah. 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 yeah I was like what really? I feel like this is how I talk on the radio like I say, just say, 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 the, say the the mic in front of her she's already what was the radio station Cali noventa y tres. I did not say it like that. I said Cali noventa y tres nueve. Cali ninety three nine. That's how it is. Like a non regional dialect or something like that, where like the, it's like the news news reporter voice. No, I never use it. Not in radio. You do not want to use the news reporter. Well, I mean, it depends on the station, but radio nowadays, it's they don't want you to talk like it's Jessica Flores. Right, I'm like, right, that's, yeah, people yeah. are gonna be like, what? The, yeah. What the yeah. 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 <laughs> No, radio nowadays is all about talking the way you talk. So if right. I were to crack the, the mic on a on a radio show, yeah. it would be like, Cali 939, numero uno para reggaeton y más. Hey, let's go ahead and give away some Bad Bunny tickets. Wow. <laughs> 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 it sounds like my voice. Right. But it's funny because my first radio show ever was Radio Disney. Oh. And that, yeah. Did you do all this? Disney, yeah, she's like, <laughs> what the that's, stick? that's Disney Channel. <laughs> I was not doing that. But because um, I was so new to radio, I thought I had to switch up my voice. So I'd be like, hey, what's going on? It's Radio Disney. It's your girl Jessica <laughs> Boy. Like, I no. found it so different. Kids Bop came on the back. <laughs> it was not Kids Bop. That bop, bop. But yeah, I would change my voice. But the more experience you get, I feel like then you're like, you got to just be yourself. Like, mm -hmm. you just got to talk how you are. Obviously, make sure you have energy. But yeah, you yeah. don't have a radio voice for the most part, right, I don't think. Right. And, and being a DJ and being having your own show, um, you're obviously doing, you know, your your thing in between in between songs and in between commercials. But for the actual playlist and the songs that you're playing, is how much of it is like pre-programmed? How much is of, of an influence do you have as as you know that the head of the show? Like for music or yeah, for what yeah. I say? Oh, music? No, I don't have any say in that mm. at all. Who paid you to play the music? I, I mean, I <laughs> wish <laughs> that. No, so if I have a show and I don't have like an actual live DJ, then it's 
written on this screen. There's like right. a screen so and it's, it's pre-programmed. You can't mm -hmm. mix that around. It's there for a reason. It's there because it's what's going to bring in right. the most ratings. It right. got tested. But if I actually have a live DJ, yeah, they still have free reigns to play what they want, but they have to play certain songs by a certain time yeah. in a certain hour than that. They can kind of play around. So I don't have to do with the music. What I have to worry about is making sure that the commercials play, making sure things play on time, making sure that if I have a little bit of time to talk, I'm filling that in with words. Right. And like, right. that is the, the rush of it. Cause it'll be like, you have 20 seconds to intro, giveaway tickets, say the number, close out. Okay, boom. And then you just see it counting down and you right. have to fill it in. And then it, it sounds smoother as opposed to like, if you only talk for 10 seconds and then it's like 10 more seconds of instrumental and it right. doesn't sound as tight. So mm -hmm. you want it to sound as tight as possible. You have, that, that you have the internal clock. You have the internal clock. Yeah, right? and you have it like literally there in your face being right. like, you have 20 seconds to say all these things and then the song's just gonna start playing automatically, right. like right. whether you like it or not. So yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting. It's it's definitely crazy because growing up, like I used to listen to the rate, like, like 105.9, like uh, Kiss FM, Power 106, so all those all those stations. Now I feel like with, with streaming, especially since streaming took, has taken over. hundred um, yeah. percent. It's it's become more democratized as to what people listen to, right? Because before, like the radio would put on, you know, what I would listen to. That had I'm a huge buy you a drink. Right, exactly. You know, yeah. like that, the whole, the they whole... would break songs. Yeah. Exactly. They would break music. Exactly. Now it's like TikTok, like like stuff like that is is, is really and it's coming from the, the listener. Uh, so how does that dynamic work for you as you know being in that industry? It's it is interesting because we're. I mean, I think everybody in real radio knows like TikTok determines you know spotify apple music determines now what's going to be on yeah. you know the radio because right. at the end of the day radio wants to get ratings they want people to listen to it they're not going to just do their yeah. own thing like they're going to follow what's going on with the time so it is definitely interesting to see that shift because when i first got into the industry it was like i was producing at power 106 i was producing in uh college at the time the liftoff which was j Crew's just incredible right. yeah. seven to midnight i think i was like a sophomore junior in college just kind of seeing how artists would come on that show and break music. People would come and do freestyles. It was like when radio really was like at the height of things. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, in these past like what, seven, eight years since I've been there, like things have really shifted. shifted. Yeah, yeah, it's it's different. And and if you don't acknowledge that and you're in radio, then you're, you're in for it. You're going to get passed <laughs> by. Yeah, you're going to get yeah, passed by. Yeah, yeah, you have to get with the times for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's nuts. And I think now you see a lot of artists kind of utilizing um, social media to become famous before they kind of break their songs, right? So you see, not like meme artists, but like artists like, like uh, uh, what's, what's her name? Uh, Bad Baby, mm. uh, who, you know, got famous from from a Dr. Phil song, or Dr. Oh, Phil yeah. show, and all of a yeah. sudden she's, you know, breaking, uh, she's Catch got me music. outside. <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. How about that? Catch, catch me outside, that? girl. Um, <laughs> and I just saw, you know, she, she bought, like a five or six million dollar house in, in, in Miami, all cash. Make so me like, a meme, oh, please. Uh, oh yeah. So, like, so what's your what's your take on all that? Cause seeing like how it was um, in kind of the heyday of you know people coming in doing a freestyle, like the more kind of traditional way versus now you have people uh, six nine. Um, yeah. Um, you know, Jenny six, De Jenny sixty nine, like kind of making all these. That's not me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. But, that's, but, like, uh, that's a good. Like, like what, what's your what's your take on 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 that, and just kind of how that industry has shifted in the last five six years? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to see how like a lot of like these TikTok stars, influencers, start all of a sudden having like these music careers, and they really do take off. And I think at first people don't want to take them seriously as like yeah. artists, right? Back in the day, you actually had to have artist development you had to sit there and make sure that an artist was like ready to be launched people took more time on music it would take like a year to come up with like a solid work of art like an album you right. don't really get albums like that anymore unless you're really established yeah. now it's like you really have to just be single, like pumping single, the machine single, right, like single right. single make it go viral people are making music that they know are going to go viral on tiktok which means music is moving a lot quicker it's not like before where a song would hit for a very you know very long time now it's like oh okay tiktok kind of just you know escalates yeah, things right and it's crazy because i also worked at TikTok previously, like right when mm. I graduated college, I it was Musically at the time. I don't know if you guys right. remember that. Dot, ad it was like dot A L L Y. Yeah, and yeah. people were doing like this. Yeah. Like, yeah, and then yeah. that that huh? exact ad. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you gotta do it again. Doing, like all the like lip singing. Yeah, one more time, one more time. You know, just like yeah, little, like yeah. all the little dances with uh -huh. like lip singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so I remember actually seeing a lot of the influencers on the app. They were like 13, 14. They would go super viral, then like release the song and it would go it would go super viral right. on the app. But now it's about longevity. Like, can you actually take this song, mm-hmm. this viral moment, this 15 right. seconds of, you know, minutes of fame or whatever you call it, and can you actually become an established, well-respected artist for the music portion, not just because you're a viral meme, right. you know what and, I mean? And so, so yeah, so like I think if you actually have the musical chops, if you have like the talent, it'll, it'll can like getting, like, um, getting standing out in that first part, like becoming like famous because of a meme or whatever. If you have like musical talent, like someone, mm-hmm. like I was talking to John, our, our, our founder um, earlier today, and he said, you know, something like Doja Cat, like oh who my got famous gosh. with that, that cow, like a bitch on my cow song. And yeah. but, now, but now, I mean, I like, I like her songs, you know, she yeah. has, like, oh, music, yes. she's like talented. She yeah. just performed at Coachella. Right, exactly. Oh my so, gosh. Awesome. And Do- yeah, Doja Cat, actually, she was making music when I was in college because I would listen to a lot, a lot of her old stuff in college. Yeah. At the time I was dating this guy who is now this incredible songwriter, like, wrote arguably some of the biggest hits of our time but i remember when he was just an intern he was like listen to this girl doja cat and i listened and i was like wow i really like her music and then the moo song came out <laughs> yeah. and now she's like doja cat but it's crazy like how long this girl had been working but she went viral for the moo song but actually she was always a really incredible right. artist all yeah along. and so the talent will always shine through it's just exactly yeah trying to like cut through the noise because yeah. there's so many people who do have talent but they're trying to kind of get seen and and, and, and they won't through. go viral exactly, and then the people exactly. that go viral for like no damn reason right. yeah, yeah and like then the island trying. boys or whatever you know what i mean right like, and yeah. but see where's their I'm next song boy. it's like right. that's right. why you need to keep it going that's I, the I, part. I told everybody i just want to be a one-hit wonder get one more song in and i'm out <laughs> then you're done <laughs> i'm done i don't want to be famous i just want one song one song dude because yeah is fame being famous even a good thing no, like i don't want to i don't think it's like a happy well you know it depends on how much but like I don't think it's you that. You can't live a normal life. I got no, my single already. Not. It's called Dame tu pusas pero sin cortido. Ah. <laughs> it's going to be reggaeton. What parentheses pero sin cortido. Yeah. We're, we're still working the kinks out. Yeah. We're just waiting for the right yeah, time. Yeah, we're for the right time to release it. Yeah. Manager, you know, it's going to be more like, like EDM, like a cumbia mix. Yeah. So it's a whole new genre. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna we're turning we're working on turning him into a meme because he has the time. I think he could. Yeah. No, I'm not. I think so I too. Oh, 100%. He's very memeable. He's, he's very yeah. memeable. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It means like you know, you can get people's attention. I like that. I like very that. Very memeable. I hate you right now. Is that a new word? Memeable. Memeable. Yes. Uh, uh, I guess I'll memeable. memeable. Here you go. Urban Dictionary. That. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. But yeah. so, uh, some people get called cute. I just got called me. <laughs> I mean, people are recognizing you. There bro. you people go. Are recognizing you. They have. You have star no. star quality, Wait, star no. potential. Because of the the first to one, right? Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap star. my head we around. Went, that. We went to the Galaxy tailgate, and it was weird for me because they were like, "Oh, oh," I'm like, "Hi." <laughs> <laughs> oh, they recognize yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he has a. Rec- I'm telling you, I went to go play soccer a year ago and then i had seen you again and i'm like i've seen him before like i recognized big you. personality man. no you really do yeah I'm you have like the an corner. energy that definitely i'm using the yeah. corner by myself just chilling no that's why vibing. i'd be vibing. So, so that's why we brought him on as the director of vibes because yes. he, he has he has an energy He's it has no, aura. it has no pay but a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> so you do have like this incredible energy do you, do you ever feel like when you're out like people always look to you to always just be like happy and stuff and like does Honestly, that ever take a toll? but he always is happy i'm, I'm yeah. just a happy person i've never like, seen always, him sad always, always like yeah? Uh, yeah. i just can't help it like Dang, teach I, me, because I be going through it sometimes. Uh, so, uh, so do you do you get that phenomenon where people look to to you as like the outgoing person that that, that, that needs to be like the life of the party? I feel like sometimes, but I'm very like if I need to like leave, I'll leave because right. sometimes I I do get a lot of social anxiety or I do mm. get very like yeah I don't know like, she just like kind of disappears like yeah. you're like wait where does she go <laughs> and she's in her van I'm like take a five minute breather. Five find minute me in my van like, yeah so, so ladies all right I have to ask this just because the, the fellas will get mad at me if I don't relationship wise are we single what are, what are we doing we're single and sometimes maybe wants to mingle I don't yeah. know oh. depending on the day just, wants to mingle <laughs> it just depends I don't know, I'm, but I'm definitely single, single. You know that saying, yeah, sola que mala yeah. acompañada." That's yeah. me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah, single. I'm 
Um, I am single. Like the last time I was in a relationship was like what, like a year ago, more than a year ago. I think it was a little more bit than more. a year yeah. ago. Yes, but I am yeah. single. There is somebody that's kind of like in and out of the picture, but I'm. We're still trying to maneuver that situation. Wait, is this considered a situationship or no? No. Okay, so she's single. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm single, and I. He I'm, would a, say, I'm a shuma shot. Uh, <laughs> he would definitely Ramsey, say the same Ramsey. Thing. He would definitely so. say Ramsey. The same thing. I've been out the game, and I couldn't imagine being in it now. Oh, it's yeah. a shit show. There yeah, was, it's, it's a little the, messy. Yeah, one of the lie. one of the greatest Twitter threads <laughs> I've ever read in my entire <laughs> life <laughs> was when um, Steph Curry's parents uh, divorced. And a dude like was like, bro, you do not want to be out here right now. Like he's talking about how like how difficult dating is. You know, there's there's different. I mean, with 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 stuff online and, and, and in person. And like he said something about charcoal ice cream. It's just like, so yeah. hard to for people to commit nowadays because right. yeah, you go online, you see like pretty girls, you know, whatever guys. You know, guys are constantly trying to get at girls. It's just. It's so you get in a fight with your person, and all of a sudden you just want to jump online and like yes. see what else is out there. It's oh so hard. Gosh. And also, I and I know you can relate. I can relate. Everybody can relate. You talk to somebody for a certain amount of time, and then it just kind of ends up dying out, or like it just kind of ends up yeah. not being anything. I don't know. It's just so hard. Everybody has like ADD out here. I feel right. like you know dating yeah. ADD. Yeah, that's a new, that's a new, that's it's, a new it's, it's, syndrome. I'm just single out here by myself. <laughs> okay, so how how has it been for you, like dating out here as like a single man? Like, how do you see the girls? So like, honestly, me like, all right, so like, I'm 32 now, like, but no, you're I'm not super 32. You're 32. Yeah, you 32. look so much younger. Okay, like, guess I want cut on my face. Like, guess uh, our age. Same. We're gonna take yeah. educated guesses here. So oh yeah, let's guess. You this said, is a fun game. So okay, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some mathematics. Here. Yeah, so, I mean, you, guys you know. said Katie Johnson was your grade in, in in college. Yeah. So my girlfriend played. She played college soccer too, and so she played against Katie Johnson in high school. Oh. So I'm gonna guess. Flint Ridge. She went to so my yeah my girlfriend went to La Crescenta and Flint Ridge is in where La, Katie went. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna say they were in the same class. I don't know if they're in the same class or she was a year younger. So I'm gonna say 28. I'm 28. Let's go. See, Let's hey, go, that's, baby. That's just Not just kidding. I'm 28. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. He but it's it's time. 20 greats now. You know, 20 28 great. is yeah. the new 20. You know, I love my age. Like, I have never felt so happy and so just. Yeah, me too. Like, aware of who I am. And just, me as well. Yeah, me like, too. Yeah. Like, when I was young, like, my young 20s, I was a, it was like a shit show. You're just like out here just like trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm slowly starting to actually figure it out, you know? Yeah, yeah definitely. All my 20s, I was in a relationship. Like now I'm just yeah? Same finding, girl? finding myself. Two girls. <laughs> oh, two girls. Okay. Five years in a two year. But like, uh, I'm like, honestly, like this is the first time, like the longest period I've been single. But How long have you been single? Shit. I'm playing uh, <laughs> two years, but like, like I honestly like I have found myself more like, I'm so used to being in a relationship now. I'm like just by myself. I'm getting to know myself a little bit more. Um, doing you a lot. Of, like I, I've gone to like movies by myself. I, oh, underrated. Yeah. Actually, underrated. 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 Get oh. dinner by yourself. Oh, have oh you ever? Oh my god. Oh yes, my, I love you that. Like a YouTube video on your yeah. phone. Yeah, or something. fantastic. Put the earpods on. So have like, yeah. your tomato bisque. I do that Absolutely. all the time. Yeah. So yeah. like, yeah. and like. Uh, you can see my tomato I, I like I like going to great restaurants. So like no Panda Express. Like, <laughs> she's a big fan of Panda. Panda by the way, Express, yes. she. I hate Panda Express. Bro, Listen, Panda we Express cannot. She, Panda all right, we can't. Right, yeah. yeah. so, but I'll try. I'll, I'll try. I'll try for you. <laughs> <laughs> for you, I'll try. For you, I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, okay. Uh, give it chowming, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> No, but like it's 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 way better when you can just find yourself and you can do things by yourself. Mm. Definitely, like, yeah. So definitely. how has it? Okay, so how has it been like dating? Like, how do you see the girls out here? Because we can complain about the guys I all know, day. Yes. So, but how has it? What are your complaints about the the women of so, this time? See me like, I'm I'm a big believer in just like vibes. Like, if if I can if I can vibe if I can vibe with you if I can like talk to you about everything from like fun topics to political topics to real social social topics like why from my <laughs> please, don't, please, please don't. <laughs> so, uh, if if I can, like, if I can have a great conversation with you, like, I'm more at this point in my life, I'm not looking for looks. I'm not looking for anything. I'm looking for we can mentally vibe. Yeah. So it's all mental for me now, like. So it's not looks at all. At all. Oh, no. A little, a little bit, but like. Uh, a little to, bit, guys. Like, you you have gotta, to. You gotta be attractive. You but, have to be attractive. Ramsey's like, but, yeah. but, but, but like, there's, but like, but if you're cute, I'm like, we're having a conversation. And I'm like, so yeah, so I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> 
school. Like, you get over it quick. Quick. Like, like, all right, nice meeting you. Like, here, let me pay for dinner. Have a great night. Oh, um, oh that's actually, yeah. that's what I was going to ask you. Do you pay for dinner on the first date? Yeah, I do. Okay, wow. because... I, or we split it. <laughs> no. No, oh, blame, blame. okay, see, yeah, like, um, I mean, I'm thinking about my little brother. So we raised him, like, if you... Well, now he has a girlfriend, but I was like, okay, if you ever take a girl out on a date, like, you have to pay for her. Like, that's, like, hmm. the the gentleman thing to yeah. do. No, if you ask her out, it's, it's on you. Yeah, but in my situations, I've been on dates where, I mean, I don't mind first going. First dates, though. Yeah, like, first date. Well, first or second dates. We're just perpetrating the patriarchy. Yeah, we're, right? like, no, we've gone halfers. And that's okay. Guys, go like, half. I don't okay. mind that. <laughs> first dates. Go like, half, on guys. First, okay, okay, go half, guys. Mike, on a first date, that's what you guys want? No. Like, halves? See, I haven't gone on a first date okay, in, like, yeah, you're six happy. years. You're so. not no, no, no. So, if I invite you out, I, I am paying because it's yeah. like it's on me like if I'm, I'm taking you out because I know I got it okay so think, what if a girl invites you on a first date I'll still try to pay if she offers or are you saying okay let's play it, it's, it's no no these, it's one of these like no I'll, like I'll, you're taking no, no I, 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 I'll pay like alright we going to a bar after and it's on you so but like yeah. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah. See, yeah. I like that. I like that too. I get scared. Like, what if I go on a date and I get COVID? <laughs> like, I guess I don't know. It's just like you got a kiss of- with a mask on. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't kiss on first dates though. I don't do that. Oh, yeah. No, I don't. No I kissing you, on first dates. Huh? Yeah, you gotta like save yourself. You know. I'm gonna put it by case by case basis. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but not. Nah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a whole topic. I know. We can go on. To be honest, I personally I'm feel like... Game, I'm I'm not, yeah. Honestly, like, when it comes to dating, or sorry, like, going on a first date, I do feel like I would always appreciate it if a guy paid, mm-hmm. like, fully. Right. Like, just, you know, for the first yeah, well, date. Just because, like, okay, first off, some brownie points. the amount of money, the amount <laughs> hey, of... take note. <laughs> no. I'm right here under the table right now. Yeah. <laughs> No, I only say this because, ladies, you guys know how much your hair, makeup, eyelashes, nails, nails do eyelashes getting your eyebrows hair. done, like, yes. all these things. <laughs> you know, like, we really put in a lot of time, effort, resources to look good for y'all. We take longer right. to get ready. Like, you know, we, we really put in that effort. And also, like, you're courting us. I like personally to get courted because, like, also, yes. if you think about it in the long run, like, we have to put our bodies through hell. Eventually, if you get to that point, like... You know, carrying your child for nine months, you're, you know, you're, yeah. You're, it's, it's like a whole thing. Wait, wait, I, 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 don't, I don't think that. Wait, 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 I don't think that, like, wait, 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 let me explain. Let me explain. Okay, so I do believe, like, at the beginning, it's nice to get courted by mine. Am I saying, like, the second date, third date, like, every, no, like, yeah. no, I'll start paying, but, like, you also have to recognize, like, a woman no, does definitely. go through a lot in a relationship, in a marriage. Like, we're still expected to yeah. look good, be passive, but also be hard. Like, we're expected so many things of society. Open the door for your legs. Pay for the yeah, no, you know what I was going to say? Pay for the spaghetti the first date, and then we can talk. I just think, like, the little <laughs> things is what kind of makes a guy yeah. su- like, you don't need them to be, like, this insane, richly... Like, if anything, it's kind of like... I don't know. When I'm around, like, those super, like, manly mans that are, like, super rich, it's kind of, like, whatever for me. But it's the little things. It's like, I've never are they going to put you on that side of the street? Like, yeah. are they going to just be kind to you? I don't know. Just open like the that. doors, guys. Open the doors when you and, take a And just guy. pay for the first date. I, first that's, date. like, my only ask. Like, I'm already... As a well, woman, you already go through so much. You don't have to tell me so many times I got you in the first date. I wasn't telling you. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm dead. I'm telling you again. <laughs> Mastro's dead. Mastro's on Julio after this. Oh, dang, like that. <laughs> Honestly, take me to go get some bomb tacos. Unos got, tacos de asada I, del pastor. I got, I got a spot. I got a spot. Don't make it hot though. Don't make it hot. No, make it hot though. Please yeah, we'll, don't we'll make it off hot. Camera. We'll make yes. it off. Sorry, anyway. Shout out to the homie Jose. <laughs> <laughs> El tío. El tío. El tío for real. Hey. Oh man. Okay. I mean, I think you know we'd love to have. I mean, we'd love to be here all night. Like, yeah, this is, this oh been so it's been so much fun. fun honestly. This is like so a little therapy fun. session. I know, right? yeah. Yeah. We, we talked yeah. about it all. <laughs> we're we're gonna be on uh, on your guys' podcast, and I'm sure. Yeah, but, yeah. we're know, gonna we'll get really happen. down deep to the yeah. nitty then, gritty. Then we can yes. 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 to the next level. We might oh, make you cry. Your yeah. questions hot oh, yeah. and ready. I'm scared. Ready. All right, you thought this was you thought this was intense. Like next next episode, you ain't really gonna like what I have to say in the next. We're gonna break you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we gotta do we gotta do some boot camp for that. So yeah. Uh, we'll get, we'll get media training. No, we'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be nice. <laughs> Just a little, though. But seriously, nice. thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Seriously, thank you. you. So we were going to come on. I'm like, wow. Like, that's I know. I was like, you fun. guys want to have us? What? <laughs>
Thank you. We now you got uh, you ladies are friends of the podcast. Yeah, I see you as personally as a friend. Uh, yes. But it was so much fun. We laughed a lot. We talked definitely. about everything. Uh, almost cried a couple times. Yeah, twice. Uh, <laughs> Julio definitely almost cried a couple times. He said some fuck tears. He He's a little teddy tears. bear. Yeah. He is. No, so yeah, I'm paying for every first day from now on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> first, and day. The last first day. In the last, last first day. Just the first day. You gotta pay for the last day. You're not asking for a lot. And now, no. it's the first day. All right, cool. We got the. We will figure that out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but but, but uh, Jenny, Jessica, thank you so much for coming nice. on the show. Thank you, you know, for this is, this is a lot of fun. Yes. So we are going to be doing a giveaway on on the socials. So yes. we'll link that all in the in, in the notes in the uh, in, in the description. So we'll have that all for you. LAFC tickets will be given away. Yes, LAFC. Uh, you can go meet Julio. He'll definitely meet, be there. <laughs> meet, meet Mr. First One himself. Julio yes. is going to be there. I'll be in the little corner. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we're all going to be there. there. Um, yeah. So so stay tuned for that. Um, first round of drinks will be on Ramsey. Uh, no, first one. Whoever's late. Whoever's late will pay for drinks. I'll um, pay for drinks. I'll pay for drinks I'll too. Pay for the first drinks. day, I'll pay for drinks. How about that? Okay. Oh, uh, he got there money. You go. There you go, Ramsey. You back <laughs> so, in the game. We're back. <laughs> hey, no, no. Don't listen we'll to do, that. We'll pay but, for rounds yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna so, be multiple rounds. Yeah. It's gonna be lit. Multiple rounds. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah it'll, it'll be lit. So thank you again for listening. Stay tuned for that giveaway, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.